All right. Uh, let's see. We're back, and this ribbon's gonna take some work. Let's let's try something. Come on, Nova. Uh, I think this is something I want to do anyway. Uh, let's see. Nova skin. Huh. I never got the Asuri skin. Oh. This is the skin I want to get. Let's let's take a look at the other skins. I've been. Uh, I mentioned I didn't. I don't like Nova that much. I love Nova. Nova's a great frame. She's got some neat effects, but like, I don't know, I just really didn't dig how like weird and bulbous her face was. In a lot of these, it just always looks kind of weird. Like this one was kind of neat, but I don't like the hat. If it didn't have the hat, I think I would love it. Uh, but you can take the hat off, so it's like, I don't know. But this skin? This skin looks cool. I mean, it honestly, it's super corpus looking. Uh, but I, I like it, it looks very like, it actually, honestly, reminds me of, um... <laughs> I'm just gonna buy it right out. Um... Uh, it, uh... It reminds me of... Prey. The, uh, the outfit from Prey and the helmet and whatnot. And I think it looks real swank. We're gonna, we're gonna give, uh, Nova a go. Let me check abilities for a second. Okay, so Molecular Prime is the one that I want to care about. The duration is 8 seconds, the effect duration is 40 seconds. That's probably fine. Main thing is I want to keep that slow real high. And instead of the Aslo, we should probably switch to my Amprex for this one. I was considering doing this with Ember, and I might work with Ember, but I wanted to give Nova, Nova a go for the time being. Okay, so... Xenion Eris, probably. I think this should work. Interception Infestation. Eh, it'll be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I forgot to... Oh, I forgot to go on solo, and I forgot to put on the Hobble Dragon Key. I'm a dumbass. I was just gonna queue up the mission. Well, no, I'm doing things backwards. I know what I'm... I know what I'm doing and not doing. All right, abort, flee! I do not wish to be here. It's not worth it. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're we're gonna go back. Make sure I'm on solo this time instead of, you know, as a dunce. How do we? Oh, right. That's how we change it. Things have things have changed for the better, but it feels unfamiliar. Uh, let's see. So can I? Hmm. You know what? Instead of the Amprex, I bring the Amprex, but we need that slot. So, oh, I should go back and um, max up my Torrid. This thing's awesome, by the way. Fart fart grenades are fun. Uh, I guess I'll grab my Super Vandal. It's like halfway decent. Let's just grab my Atomos, my my little popping monster. Okay, and let's check the ribbon on it. There's so much to do. So little time. Okay, and we need that Hobble Dragon Key. I hope I still have one. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's mess with the appearance a little bit. I want to get it to match the Super Vandal, probably. So... Dark blues instead of purple. Because I, I like that, that Super Vandal look. It looks nice. So this is the this is the metal. probably do a blue. Look kind of nerfy. And then the purple looks actually quite nice, but let's 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 keep with the trend. Yeah, I think this I think this looks perfectly fine. It's got pretty close to the Wanderbot colors. I should probably look into uh syndicates again cuz I pretty much got what I wanted from syndicates and then totally forgot they existed. So I've not been paying a whole lot of attention to um Red Veil's real mad at me. Arbiters of Hexus and uh, Cephalon Suda love love me. Uh, I need a Mirage Prime Systems. All right, that'll take some effort. I 
Let's see, do I have anything, everything from here? I don't have the Synoid Heliacore or Gamma Core. Well, the Heliacore seems kind of interesting. Yeah, I should probably get the Synoid Heliacore just because it's the more interesting weapon and more expensive. I'll work on some other stuff. Oh, right, I should probably save up for the, uh... For the Captura stuff. Oh, they hate the shit out of me. Oh, well. I, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, anyway, so I've got the Hubble Dragon Key. This should be good. Let's try this again. Back to Zini. Alone this time. I've never actually, uh, I don't know if I've, I've done this, yeah, I've done this mission. I don't remember it. But then again, there's so many missions in this game, it's hard to. Now is this, okay, so it's the exact same mission, uh, that I thought it was going to be. Just, um, Hobbled. Probably should have done Ember for this instead. I might be okay. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I just have to... I, I think I only have to beat one round as this. No. And I just have to get a, a basic commanding lead on, on some things. And I can give myself energy. Yeah, I should I should probably have gone Ember. It's uh yeah, let's let's just back out instead of trying to do this with Nova. She's pretty good, but this way I just don't have to worry about it. Apparently there's a way to basically infinitely solo infested intercepts. I haven't mastered it yet. Huh. That'd be interesting. Yeah, shout out to Ultorial slash Material for uh, constantly just throwing tips at me for these things. Um, I guess the other thing I could do is just go frost and pop some bubbles, but I think this will be fine. Very, very sluggish with this game. I don't like it. Luckily, it only affects, uh, it only affects actual run speed, so you can still bullet jump, jump and to a degree, I think, slide? Uh, without actually being at all slowed down, which is kind of nice. Okay, but let's do this this way. It's a little bit more expensive. Oops, didn't finish. Unfortunately, don't have much energy yet. I really want there to be a, a tower defense warframe at some point. I don't think they've really done that, that yet. Ugh, they've already taken it. Oh, this is a nightmare. Well, I'm still up to a decent amount of energy, so I should be able to kind of thing back and forth between. Okay. And yeah, I'm just gonna ping back and forth between these two. And then get up to this one. C is too far away. Oh, they take it immediately. There's no gray period on this one. That's annoying. All it takes is one. Uh, yeah, I've done this before, but it all it takes is is one one enemy. And it's not easy. Uh, if I like wipe them out, 
it's not so bad. Taking B, but if I can take D and then get down to B, we'll be okay. Come on, drop down. Drop. Garbage. Because, yeah, they don't take D that often. Okay. Took that one. Took that one. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, they've changed how range works with Ember. They're taking D back from me. But it's better if they, if I hold A, A and D. Nope. Okay, I got Delta, but they got Beta. It's annoying. Yeah, if I can, if I can just keep them off of and or hold part of them. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, come on. Really not helpful right now, guys. I haven't actually cat neutralized it yet. I guess this is what happens when I don't pay attention to my syndicates. At least it's just a bunch of parasitic XMI as opposed to something actually dangerous. I think this might also interfere with the uh, the enemies in the area a little bit. Okay. Come on. I should probably get some more uh, energy going here. I don't see anybody going for any of my locations. I really gotta get... Um, I, I really gotta get energy siphon. On, uh, on Ember. That would actually make a massive difference. I mean, admittedly, we spend most of our time not actually being able to, uh, to get that energy. It would still be rather helpful. Oh. Okay, there we go. I don't really care about the affinity, but I am leveling two weapons at a time. And yeah, it looks like we are going to get this. Shockingly. I don't... Some of these challenges are just downright mean sometimes. Not impossible. They're just mean. I think there's some other things that I could have done. Maybe just gone Naza and hoped the uh, speed bonus would be enough to counteract the Hubble Dragon key. Uh, gone, uh... I don't really know. I guess I could probably head for C. I just feel like the moment I head for C, they're going to take all my other stuff. Then again, I'm about to win, so what does it matter? I'll just take C for a moral victory. I hope I only have to do one round of this. It'll be miserable otherwise. Alright, we're good. We have control of all the towers and kill all the remaining enemies. I was not entirely certain I was going to be able to do this. It would have worked on a less vertical level with Nova, probably. There's a there's a couple that might have been viable. Please don't make me do another wave. It's saying extractions available. Good. Yeah, solo interceptions not fun. Alright, extract, we're good. Alright, so what Riven did I just get? I, we have to finish this. I forgot. I think we completed it, though. I gotta take off that hobbled dragon key ASAP or I'm going to lose my mind. Alright, here we go. Tiburon. I don't think I have a Tiburon. Oh, right, 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 right. Equipment, arsenal. 
here. You. Get out of here. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm back and kind of confused. Oh boy, where am I? Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly ready for this, but I didn't want to keep people waiting. Okay, so we got the ribbon. It was good. Now I'm doing um, some uh, Kuvala Survival. Oh, I should probably get an Infinity Booster between missions. Oh well, next time. Uh, I don't remember if a booster... Booster doesn't affect Kuva survival, if I remember right. Maybe it does. I don't know. I'll have to look. I might just pick up some boosters if I'm coming back to this. Start with a three-day, go up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anywho. Wow, this is wild to control. Um... So, uh, so yeah, I figured I'd do some Kuva, because apparently the Tiburon Riven is real good. Uh, I really haven't, like, had much to do with the Tiburon up until now. Uh, but apparently it's, like, absolutely worth farming for. Uh, so I lucked out, as usual. And so we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get a, uh, better Tiburon Riven than the one I'm rolling. Because, I mean, the ammo maximum is kind of, like, okay. The multi-shot in the heat ain't bad. But if I can get status... Uh, and, like, crit-related stuff. Like, if I can get crit multi-shot status, some combination of those, that'll be amazing. We've already got multi-shot for obvious reasons. Uh, but I bet I could get, you know, a little bit more than that. Without a whole lot of problems. And so I figured that that'll just be my, uh... That'll be my go-to-ish? Go I don't know. We'll see. The other thing I need to do is... Actually, do need to do those, um... I do actually need to go do some bounties, because uh, Altorial sent me the, or I guess Material, if we're within the game, uh, sent me their uh, their build for Neza, and they actually have a couple of mods that I don't have. Gladiator, uh, it's like Augur Secrets and Gladiator Resolve, which apparently I just straight up don't have for whatever reason. I, I guess I never did enough bounties to get them all. I just kind of did bounties whenever and never really, really looked into... Oh! That's cool. I never actually realized the, um... I, I never realized the phantoms, uh... You know, Necros's minions would uh, hop in turrets. That's really rad, actually. I've, I've never seen that before. Also, I've got Cunning Drift on for extra range. Uh, which makes perfect sense. I might switch it out for the, uh, the Power Drift, whichever that one is. Uh, but it has increased my slide by 15%. And Naze is already one slidey boy, so... It, um... It, uh... Kind of works? It kind of doesn't? I don't know, it's very... It's awkward. Uh, because I'm effectively just, I'm scooting around. Like, if I, if I slide, and like, I, I keep sliding for a while. It's, it's like friction's off. I, I actually really wish, I wonder how many, um, no friction mods I could stack at once. I'd have to look at that. There might not be a whole lot of them, but, uh, it could be really amusing to just be, uh, you know, Slidesy McGee. What do you... Ah. So, burst, semi-auto, and auto. Yeah, we'll admit, have not actually tried the... Ow. Have not actually tried the uh, various modes on this thing. It does a fair bit of damage. So, yeah, I could, I could definitely see the Tiburon being good. And I don't think I've got any good, like, single-target guns. And, honestly, uh, single-target or not, the, uh, the Tiburon could be switched between them all. So I think I might have actually lucked out with that Riven. Obviously, it might not be immediately the best Riven ever. But it still looks pretty... looks like it'll be pretty strong. Oh, I can't see anything. We don't actually have to worry about protecting the life support, just not dying. Yeah, that should be fine. And so we'll we'll just cap the episode off by doing some uh, Kuva Survival. Really relaxing stuff, honestly. Maybe too relaxing. Uh, 
This is a weird thing that I've run into over YouTube, but, you know, over the last five years, because at this point my channel's a little over five years old, I should probably have done a video on that. I probably should, regardless. Maybe I'll just sit down and do that today anyway. Uh, just talking about five years on YouTube. Um, that might be kind of fun. I didn't do anything for 200,000. I'm bad at landmarks. I'm more interested in just playing games. I guess I could do, like, a... I did a, uh... No, I did I did do something for 200,000 on YouTube. It was a YouTube stream. I never actually hit YouTube. Uh, I was like, well, I could do, like, a Q&A. And it's like, wait a second, I did do a Q&A. It was just like, Wanda, are you going to play X? It's... It's fascinating how, uh... How much of my channel has just evolved into people trying to validate whether or not I'm going to play uh, the game that they're really looking forward to. And I don't mind that. Uh, I actually like it quite a lot. But it's, uh, you know, it's it's one of those where it's, it's a bizarre occurrence that I wasn't quite expecting, you know, when it comes to these things. You know, it's like, you know, I get the usual questions. What's your favorite food? Curry. What's your favorite video game ever? Hell if I know. Not Chroma Squad, but that's the one I point to a lot. Dragon Quest Builders, God of War, Spider-Man. Uh, there's others. I mean, there's tons of roguelikes that I've loved. Unfortunately, half of them aren't even done yet, and I usually play them till I'm sick of them. Uh, which is maybe a bit of a, uh, a detraction against a lot of roguelikes. It's like, I love Slay the Spire. I love Warframe, but like, oh damn, you can't... It's hard to play, like, games for this long. And, uh, like, keep up the enthusiasm. I have nothing but the utmost respect for people that can base their channel off of single games at a time. Like, the idea the idea of doing that is is nuts. And people do it. And I am I am impressed and baffled. Because I don't... Maybe it's just I don't have the attention span to focus on one game for that long. Uh, which, you know... True. I don't have ADHD. I just... I love... Variety. I have so many games to play. And I love it. But it's also like maddening. It's weird. Like imagine uh I, I've talked about this before. I think I was even kind of talking about this earlier, how I didn't have a whole lot of games, so oh yeah, I never finished that thought from last episode. Oh, uh, I like to play RuneScape in World of Warcraft, because it was one game that I could play for hours on end and not have to worry about it. Same thing with JRPGs and stuff. Nowadays, it's like my life is the complete opposite. Now I don't have enough time to devote to a single game ever. Um, and so, like, the idea of a, a sub-fee on a, on a game is... is... crazy to me. When I have so many other games to play instead. Uh, and, of course, I come back to play playing Warframe, which I've played before and will continue to play forever. Uh, at least until the server shut down, which, honestly... Considering the reaction to, like, the Warframe's been getting over the past couple years, they're more likely to make Warframe 2 than they are to shut down. And I'm not even sure if they'd make a Warframe 2. Like, maybe not for another 5-10 years, if even. And there are definitely things that I'd like to see them do. Like, you know, more structured actual missions with hand design bits as opposed to proc gen. Because procedural generation gets kind of boring real fast. Like... I love exploring in games, but if it's procedurally generated, I, like, lose all interest immediately. It's like, well, these these room segments were, were stitched together from disparate parts, which is, I guess, fine. But, uh, you know, I'd love to see somebody actually make, like, a full level from start to finish. It's almost the one thing I'd say maybe Destiny has up on Warframe is the hand design levels make all the difference. Now, I'd love it uh, to have, like, a hybrid of the two. I love I love games where you have, like, the hand design levels and also the uh, the procedurally generated dungeons to go into. I, I've always wanted to go back and play and finish Bloodborne because that had the uh, chalice dungeons, which I really like the idea of. But I've never got the chance, because I've never actually really played Bloodborne. 
And, like, I got into it, and it was fun, but it was also, like, hard. And, like, I don't... I don't take... Defeat? No, I don't take setbacks well. I take defeat fine. I hate setbacks. It's bizarre. Um, so in a roguelike, you lose, oh well, that's the end of the episode, you move on. In a game like Dark Souls or, you know, Bloodborne or pretty much any other game, if you have to go back a significant distance because you died, that is lost footage. Maybe not lost footage, but that is, that is time spend doing nothing interesting and so you effectively either have to cut it from the video or uh, or like really fail, fill the space by being entertaining. Uh, I have that problem with Monster Hunter World. The game is great but there's a lot of downtime between hunts and it can be a bit of a drag sometimes. Often, actually. Uh, so we've been playing that multiplayer and it's, it's smoothed out a lot more now that everybody knows what they're doing. Um, but especially early on, it's just like, alright, now we wait for that person to filter through the menu, and this person to be ready, and this person to remember to hit the ready button. And, you know, it's just like, I could be fighting a monster right now and making interesting content, as opposed to... ...sitting here, doing nothing. Ah. Uh, and so, like, the idea of... ...you know, backtracking to... ...you know, get back to where you were in a video game drives me nuts. Uh, whereas, yeah, in roguelikes, okay, I died, whatever, no big deal. <laughs> and it's fascinating just how much the, like, the psychology of how it works, the, the emotional, the psychological difference that I'd almost say defeatism has is, like, ridiculous. Because, yeah, with the roguelike, it's like, okay, whatever, start over. I think this is a very, like, distinctly... Well, no, it's not. It's definitely not a distinctly YouTuber problem. Uh, it was one of the reasons why I couldn't uh, get into Dark Souls originally. It's like, oh, you died. Alright, time to go back. It's like, I don't... I don't wanna? I don't have any interest in going back and redoing that thing. Whatever that thing was. Doesn't feel good. I really like Neza now. I really like this frame. It looks good. I might see if I can... Oh, I should, um... I, I should actually probably see if I can get a Sandana that looks real goofy. Like another ring? Yeah, maybe maybe I'll get some of those like ring-based Sandanas or whatever. Uh, I have 60 bucks in my, my Steam wallet. And I almost never have money in there. Uh, but I I got a press copy for Dragon Quest XI when I honestly didn't think I was going to get one. You know, I, I'm not... I don't consider myself to be a particularly big fish on, on YouTube, uh, or, or Twitch, or whatever, and so... Oh, we did get it. I don't consider myself to be a ter terribly big fish when it comes to YouTube and Twitch and whatnot, and so when I straight up just get an email from, uh... When I straight up get an email from Square, uh, like, one of Square Enix's, like, you know, PR people being like, yo! You want Dragon Quest XI? I'm like, yes? Even though I already pre-ordered it. <laughs> I'll say yes and return the copy on Steam. And so I, I accidentally misclicked and went with the return to my Steam wallet. So I just have a bunch of money sitting around and it's like, alright. I guess I'll spend this on Warframe guff. Why not? Oops. Oh. Somebody's cat. I should probably actually get a Kavat. Or double Kavat or something? I don't know. Because there's there's Gara with... Is it Gara? No, no, it's Korra. I get Gara and Korra confused because they both have the, like... They're weird theme frames for, like, physical objects. You know, glass and chains. And it makes total sense within both of them. But, uh... You know, I haven't exactly spent enough time with either to, like, really get that, that connection. Interestingly enough, interestingly enough, uh, Gara, I think it's Gara recently got a, uh, an upgrade that more or less makes it so, uh, she has a healing move now, which I thought is actually kind of rad. And I'm looking forward to, uh, giving that a go. So I'll probably, once I'm done, like, getting Neza up and ready to go as a character, I'll probably look into Gara, then maybe Korra or something. 
Oh boy. I don't do damage. This is a legitimate issue. I guess I'm using the Atomos, which is not really like a heavy DPS gun. And also, I am actually not near my, my teammates, so that, that would also make a, a fair difference here. Uh, what was I saying? I got a billion topics to talk about, and none of them are important. Right, that's actually what I was talking about. Uh, so anyway, over the course of, you know, my YouTube career, I'm running out of stories. I can, I can rehash them, and in fact, I probably should. A number of my stories are told uh, very specifically when I was, like, playing games that nobody watches anymore. The Cavern Kings, for example. How many of you guys watching this video have seen any of my Cavern Kings episodes? I, I'd say it's, like, a handful at best. It was an old series from before I even hit 10,000 subs on my channel. And I loved it. It was a great game. But it was also, like... You know, it's also very much not like a... I can't see anything. Uh, it's very much like a... A dead series. Dead... Dead dev studio. Dead dead series. Dead everything. Uh, fun. Absolutely fun. And I'd, I'd... If they ever go back and, like, keep working on it, I will absolutely be like, Yo! Cavern Kings! Go buy it! It's amazing! Because uh, I think from that era, I think that's my favorite remaining roguelike. Because Catacomb Kids was fascinating, but so, so painfully... Uh, frustrating. That is the one roguelike where I could not enjoy losing and starting over in because it was, it was like, you know, what's this run going to get me today? Like, what cool shit am I going to do? What weird cheese tactic am I going to come up with? Uh, playing, uh, playing Catacomb Kids, it was often just like, man, I suck at this and everything can kill me in one shot. Which is not as pleasant. I was playing a new roguelike recently called Mana Spark. I like the idea of it. It looks really cool, and I'm I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to uh, you know playing more of it. Sorry, brain. I was trying to like process what exactly is going on in front of me. There's too much, and I'm like. It's hard enough as it is trying to figure out where the enemies are, and I'm also not doing any damage to these guys. I should probably just switch to the Tiburon. Let's just switch to probably Burst. Yeah, Burst seems like the way to go here. Yeah, I can actually do damage. Holy shit, this is a good gun. I really needed to try more guns. Like, what I could do, it's going to take me a lot of money, and I'm probably going to have to rebuild some guns. Uh, but we could actually do a, a day, a thing where I just try every, uh, you know, one episode I will try out a gun from my list. Or maybe not an episode, but like, uh, you know, as soon as I'm done with Neza and my Tiburon here, uh, I'll pick a new new gun set to work on. And I might not get a ribbon for them, uh, as that is, that gets kind of expensive pretty quick. Uh, but I'll at least try and like max them out and stuff and we can we can start adding some more like really cool guns to my list. Uh, so I have a greater variety of what I'm using as opposed to just resorting back to my Astala every time I get the chance. Because I love my Astala. It's a great gun. In fact, I kind of wish I had it right now. Uh, if I wasn't trying to farm EXP on my on my Tiburon. But, uh... I'm really digging Neza. I was, I was really expecting I'd be much more uh, vulnerable than this. And, you know, as it stands, I'm actually doing relatively fine. Relatively well. I mean, at this point, like, these guys are getting up into the 60s and 70s, so go freaking figure. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to them. I've got a half-modded uh, Tiburon here, and that's not great. I should probably switch over... Uh, as soon as I'm done, you know, just uh, master mastery farming everything, I'll pay some more attention to... Uh, I'll pay some more attention to some of my other 
uh, pieces of equipment. Like, I'd really like to get a, a good, like, AoE melee set and a good, uh, you know, high, high enemy damage set and stuff like that. Ow, 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 dead. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting smacked around a little bit. Okay, Last Harvester is... sort of... in a direction. It's over there, and I'm lost. Okay, well, it's fine. I've got... armor. Yeah, this is what happens when I split the party. Don't slit, split the party. D&D... Scooby-Doo, doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Well, at least I'm with the party now. So if I go down, it's not as big of a drain. Uh, but yeah, so what we could do is just go from, like, focus on a weapon every single time and be like, yo, this is, we're gonna, we're gonna level up, get all the mods necessary to make it amazing. Take some suggestions? Is it like... I, I really have been playing everything by ear. It's like, oh yeah, this is kind of vaguely a crit gun. I don't really look like deeper than the surface. And I probably should. Uh, so if you guys want to help out on that one, I would actually, uh, I would actually love to, uh, love to like kind of go that direction with this series. At least until we get more interesting contents, because I know they're hyping up, um, uh, I know they're they're hyping up the uh, the new content, justifiably so. The new content looks great. Okay, I'm going to die if I continue to stand there. I thought that was going to be our, our last Guva Harvester. Oh well. But anyway, uh. But yeah, you know, use this time before, before like, any ma major content gets dropped to actually, you know, get maxed out, you know, do some more Eidolons. I don't really like fighting Eidolons that much, but, you know, I could get the right build for it and survive and a bunch of other things. And then, um, maybe get some of those Arcanes, because I don't have any Arcanes. I have, like, a handful, and I know people would give them to me, but I'd like, at least like to figure out what arcanes work where and what to do with them, and even go get some of them intentionally. Okay, so that's that's the end of it. Let's get out of here. We are slidey as shit. fun though. I, I really like this frame. He's uh, he's cool. I'm very fast. Though admittedly I'm not doing myself a whole lot of favors here, but there we go. Yeah, my, my, something's just randomly wrong with my pinky and I don't really know why. It just kind of hurts. Yeah, Firewalker. No, that does not have anything, uh, that does not increase slide. Ah, more slide would be lovely. Huh. What was Night Hunter using that he was getting so many kills? Strun Wraith, Arca Cisco. Might have just been all of his, uh, all of his summons. Not sure. Either way. I mean, I was using trashier equipment anyway. So, I guess with this, I'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Warframe, and we'll keep working on this Tiburon and some other things.